have Chris Green and Kim Dees joining the show. Welcome to the show, y'all. Thank you. Nice to be here. Thank Chris, <laughs> welcome. Tell me a little bit about Project Management. Project Management is the group that you guys work for and, and you guys day to day are handling projects. Tell me a little bit about your team and what your goals are. That's correct. So I'm the manager of Project Management. Um, we have basically our team members are, there's me as the manager. We have uh, Tigger Lambert is our office coordinator. We have two project inspectors, which Yancey Jones, Dennis Anthony. We have a tribal planner. We just recently acquired Kim Dees. Uh, she's our, she's going to be our lead planner. So okay. um, it's kind of where that's our team. That's how it's made up. And now you didn't mention Frank I, and I'm, I, I like Frank. He's a uh, Frank Dunn works in your group. That's correct. He's got a, a unique talent, doesn't he? He does. What's his talent? Uh, so we have Frank. He's not only a planner, but he's also a magician. So um, <laughs> Frank, when he's not planning, he's working magic. So that's, that's kind of how I that play magic, which is a different thing than he does. And when I tell people I play magic, they're like, oh, you do magic tricks. Yeah. And I'm like, no, it's a card game. It's real nerdy. Yeah, but yeah. Frank actually does magic. That's he cool. He does. So, uh, so tell me about project management. Your scope is, you know, what are you guys designed to do? So basically what we do, we bring a project from when it's initiated until it's finished. So for instance, we have a project that an idea comes up, goes through planning board. Um, we go start planning it to see if it's, you know, see if it's a viable project. Right. So we go into the project, for instance, one of the projects we have, so Big Cove Community Building slash Gym, which okay. is the current project we're on. We, um, the idea came through, I think there's a resolution based on this. We um, went through planning board, went through that, got put on our five-year plan, which is a plan that finances work, that has worked on in the past year okay. to basically prioritize our projects. It allows us to get funding for these, you know, for, for different projects. So um, that was one of them. We uh, start, we basically RFQ'd for the, the design of this project, okay. put it out. Um, we hired an architect, it was designed. We're doing it in two different phases. We're doing a community building part of it. Re initially, we were going to have um, the community building and the gym all together. But after going up there, looking at the planning, the site, we've decided to break where you have the community building separate from the actual gym gotcha. itself. So we're currently, uh, we've got the community building part of it finalized. It's it's designed, it's been bid. We have a contractor that's currently working on that project. Okay. Um, should be, you know, that project actually should be finishing up toward November of this coming year, the community building part of it, the actual gym part of it, we will um, be ha we'll be bidding that out in the upcoming months. Okay. So that project will probably you know be coming to an end. So that's kind of how months. a project so comes together. Though, is you, you started over on the council side, there was a resolution come through or some interest from the community that triggered that. That's correct. So the, it basically resolution is not a requirement. It, it, there has to be some sort of interest, like you said, from the community. And this one just happens to have a you know a resolution attached to it. Okay. Um, like I said, one of the biggest things that we've had, especially in project management, one of our um, best things, you know, in the last, you know, several years is the five-year plan that right. we were just talking about. It allows, like I said, it allows for finance to be able to budget for the upcoming projects and it allows us just to be able to go right into those projects. So, so everything gets mapped out. Mm -hmm. Correct. Nice laid out. So we know where we're heading in the next couple of years. Correct. Years. And um, that has ended up working out very well for us. Good. That's uh, really helped us prioritize and um, get the projects out. Good. Now, Kim, you're not getting away and just get to hang out all day. Tell mm -hmm. me about what you do over at Project Management Department. Well, now that I'm part of this department, it, it makes it one final process. So okay. you go from the planning, the very start of it, a very initiation of an idea, all the way through to the end where the construction of the building has happened, and then we have an opening. So yeah. it's it's a new, we're new. We've been together, what, a couple weeks yeah. now? So okay. we're trying to mesh all of our projects together. I brought a few projects with me, and then they're adding some to my... Good. To my list, so. Good, and so you're you were your former your background. Mm -hmm. You're real big on the the land site, the site preparation, I guess, right. piece of it. Right. What what kind of goes into that? Well, we have the site review process. So any any project that's a public facility or a commercial facility has to go through a site review process. Okay. And that's if you're going to disturb any property or if you're going to disturb any building that's existing. So that includes remodels, reconstruction, demolition, gotcha. and, and all new construction. And so a lot of folks think we can just um, initiate a project and go straight mm -hmm. out and start pouring concrete. Right. But that's not necessarily the case. No. We have to go through archaeology and environmental, and then we contact, obviously, DOT and then water and sewer 
um, BIA for the realty information. Wow. So there's a long checklist of what happens before we ever touch the property or the building. Excellent, excellent. Um, recently you gave a presentation to the planning board. Um, can you go kind of rehash some of this real quickly and, and let's can. catch up with some of the projects? I can, and basically what we did that day, we wanted to give everybody an update on where we were with, you know, current projects and, you know, projects that we've completed over the past, you know, couple of years. Um, I'll just kind of I just go through the list of the completed projects we ha we had on this slide. Okay. So, for one, for instance, one of the projects that we completed was the Snowbird Child Care Facility, which okay. is over in Robbinsville. We also completed the Wolftown and Birdtown community buildings. Excellent. Mm -hmm. um, we uh, completed the Fire Mountain uh, Trail System, and also added several improvements by adding pavilions and okay. all, you know, adding the pavilions in the past year and completing the actual trail system. The, you know, the prior year. So. That, that actual project's going really well. Um, Big Cove Community Center, that is one, like I said, we we talked about. Um, I think then this kind of rolls into the actual projects that we're working on now. Okay. So um, I'll just kind of go up, briefly go over those. Like I said, I've spoke about the Big Cove Community Building, kind of where we are. And that'll be it's, looking like they'll be the community part of it in November. Is correct. So it's you know November, December. Ho okay. Hopefully we'll get those guys in by the end of the year. That's awesome. Um, the Big Cove Gym, like I said, it's kind of the second phase of that project. We'll hopefully have that bid out in the next couple months and start construction on that with it probably fi finishing in you know, first part of next year, middle part of right. next year. So that whole project should be completed by the mid part of next year. And real quickly, before we get too far in, into the weeds with the projects, um, your process, once we get everything kind of approved, it's ten, it's it's a strenuous process as well. You're doing a lot of RFPs and you're doing a lot of cons consultations with different that, groups. And that's that's correct. So once you get once we get a project, actually, you know, the funding for it approved, and um, we go into contract with a, a contractor. There's also you know different things that you've got to do when you know when you're going into the project. So, for instance, so on these commercial projects, everything is based off drawings. So you have an architect has to stamp all the sheets. Mm -hmm. An engineer has to stamp all the engineering parts. So. When in the process of the construction goes, you have the builder basically sends a submittal in. Submittal goes, submittal goes to the architect, and basically what a submittal does is it, it is showing that you're putting in what's in these drawings. So the architect signs off, approves that, goes back to the contractor. So you know, us as a tribe are getting what's on those drawings, and it's being right. put in to spec. So we we've got to go through that process. You like you said, you have um, our, well, we have RF. Well, that well, that's goes back to the first of that's request for qualifications and all that's so that that's prior to the kind of, a contractor. Kind of prior to yeah, the contractor. Yeah. So with once you have a contract, like I said, and you're working with the contractor, you're going through these RFIs and um, mm -hmm. RFIs. Besides the submittals, is another part of that RFIs request for information. Which so if you have something on a drawing, and you run into it, and, and there's some sort of conflict. It's either in the field, it's not exactly what's shown on the drawing, or you know, they just have a question about something lining up on a drawing, you have to do a request for information. Oh, gotcha. So you fill that out, goes to, um, that goes to the uh, engineer or the architect, whichever, you know, wherever the conflict's at is who would answer it. it you know, at us as the tribe, we, we, we get copied on all those emails. We see all that stuff go through. So I'll, any, any kind of questions, any, we have input on all that stuff. Gotcha. So if it's something that the architect or engineer is not coming from waking, they'll go back, come back to us, we'll answer it and we'll go, you know, Excellent. get the RFI out there and get that information back to the contractor so we get kind of what we're... Like, so there's so a like lot of moving pieces. This isn't mm -hmm. just send guys out and pour the concrete and build the house or build the, you know, construct that, the community building. There's a lot of pieces that's in there. correct. Right? And um, there's, like I said, everything, one of the things we like when we're going into these contracts, especially is, you know, basically being transparent with, we have with our project monitors, our guys, Dennis and Anthony, or Dennis and uh, Yancey are both in the field on these projects, watching these actually mm -hmm. be put in. Mm -hmm. So, once we see these RFIs come through and these submittals, they're out, they verify that that's actually happening. Gotcha. Um, we, like I said, if, if for instance, if you run into sometimes you run into a change that whether if something doesn't line up, it can be the you know, the design's fault, whoever's fault. Um, sometimes you run into unforeseen circumstances, circumstances. and so. For instance, like, so Big Cove Community Building. We dig into the dirt. Um, we have another engineering firm comes in, SNME on that project, comes in, tests the footers. There has to be a certain bearing capacity for the footers 
to be put in. So they test that uh, you know, the bearing capacity. So they test it, found out dirt's no good. So we had to remove the dirt, replace it with gravel, so it would so, so the it would hold so the compact yeah so it com compact right. Oh, gotcha. And would hold the slab slab up. So in that circumstances, um, that you know that requires something that wasn't uh, in the contract. So we've got to go back and make, make sure that's mm -hmm. adjustments and you know that's small that's you know small things. But that, that can knock that, a project that, off weeks though. I mean, it could take yeah. some time to get all that done. Sometimes that happens. On okay. that particular project, it, it wasn't that big of a deal. Okay. We were able to get that dirt dug out of there and put back um, almost pretty quickly. Sec next day. So okay. like I said, when you get something like that, it has to go through all the chain of command to uh, make sure it's through. But you know, you run into things like that. Right. That's you know unforeseen. You right. can't. We don't. And you know guys what, are managing those daily, though. We you are. Do a lot we, of that. We're running into that stuff. So you don't. You never know what's in the dirt until you actually start digging down gotcha. into it. So. Okay. So let's go on to the next one. Um, next. Said so. Another little project we're doing. We're doing Riverview uh, Campground Cleanup. Okay. Um, everybody's familiar with that. It's right there by uh, Hungry Bear okay. um, Restaurant. That old campground that was there. What's there was, in the ground? Is there something in the ground? There, was, there's an old uh, gas station there. So okay. there was some uh, oil that was leached into the soil. Gotcha. So we're basically having to clean all that up. So um, that site will be ready to do some sort of construction. Good. Um, we've got that going on. Another one we've got coming up is the Cherokee Youth Center. We're currently uh, in the design in design on that, and hopefully have the uh, CM a contractor in the next couple weeks as well. Excellent. We have tested all the dirt and everything there. We've um, so everything looks like it's coming back pretty good. What would we hope for some kind of movement on that project? You know, what kind of timeline? Uh, timeline, uh, you know, probably it'll be finished. It's the the pro there's not a problem with the project, but that project's going to have to be phased. So the actual uh, building will be is going to be constructed, you know, behind the existing one. So okay. we're going to have to do phase demos and all that. So I. As far as the finish date, I, I, I wouldn't want to say well, anything we're right start now. Moving yeah, on yeah, we, yeah, we are currently rolling with that one right now. So we're in the contract. We're doing, you know, we've got, you know, contracts have been approved on that. Right. And so we're moving forward. Now, will but, folks see stuff happening at the old high school site there because mm -hmm. of that? Uh, we do have, if, if you've noticed on the old high school site, there's a fenced in area there right. that an, a recent fence that was put up. Right. And Where I, the school used to actually see it. Okay. Yeah. And the idea of that is we're going to use it for a laydown area for uh, the contractor. So when they have materials and all that, they'll be able to store it over there and then oh, just bring be, it over. Locked up mm -hmm. and it'll be secured there. Yep. Gotcha. Yep. So, um, so folks see stuff happening at the high school. Don't mm -hmm. flip out. It is for a project, but it's not mm -hmm. for that for site. That it's for that, the youth center. That is correct. Right. So okay. um, yeah, we uh, as far as uh, any sort of projects in the ground at the new high school site, we don't have anything currently okay. going on. So. Okay. Um, but yeah, so the youth center is moving forward. That yeah. one's uh, hitting the ground running. Another one that we've got coming up that's kind of hitting the ground running as well is the uh, Snowbird Complex. Okay. We um, we had meetings out there this past week, um, working on sewer package plant and all that stuff. It's you know in design, so that one's moving forward. That one's moving along well. Yes, sir. Um, another project we have that's coming is the needle exchange contract. Uh, was approved on that a couple weeks ago, which is basically it's a des design build, so it's complete. Um, complete contract. Gotcha. And um, we hope to have that one finished by the first of the year. It may come sooner than that. Okay. But so we are moving on that one as well. Excellent. Um, another well, another little project I want to talk about that we kind of finished up was the Gentry Lynn Welch parking lot. That was that Absolutely. was through us. That kind of changed the flow of the flow of traffic. Changed traffic. So folks now need to drive more toward the uh, what used to be an outdoor gymnasium. Mm -hmm. And correct. come in the entrance there right. and drive correct. down kind of one way. That's correct. Okay. Um, but like I said, we just recently finished that there. Um, we might end up having to make a few little changes when you come in there and, make, and widen that up. Or, okay. Or, um, we're currently looking into <laughs> that to hopefully get that thing flowing good, better. Good. So we're working on that. Fire Mountain, um, we have been basically, we're always looking at doing little updates. Right. Every year to that, a little small little um, you know add-ons to it, and we're currently. And that doing project that has a lot of potential. There are a lot of things mm -hmm. you can do with that, and it getting does. folks out there to it use does. it, and then tying it into the rest of town. That's exciting. It does. It's um, you know you know, start looking at the bikes and just walking and all right. that in general would it would it would be really good for the town. Maybe, right. You know, up, you know, adding some of that stuff into our greenways. Yeah, absolutely. As far as project management goes, we have been looking into you know expanding all that stuff. Okay. Um, 
expanding the, the bike trails. That's one thing we're looking into doing. We're, um, we really want to look at potentially doing a, um, basically a boundary wide, um, our master plan for the bike trails, so Good. our bike, tra you know, bike trails and pedestrian trails, all that. Right. And that's something we're looking into right now. So, okay. um, so another big project that we've actually got going on is the street light project. If if you have if you've noticed those guys out there putting light poles up, yes, in front I of the have. That's exciting. In Justice Center, so the, there was no lights out there. Um, now that's you know. that's been a concern of the public for a long time. Mm -hmm. We've had a lot of incidents where folks have been in trouble out there in the roads where it's dark. Yep. Uh, that's good that you're addressing that, and uh, make sure you put some power outlets in it so I can put my Wi-Fi antennas on so we get Wi-Fi down through town. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're working on that. We don't have any power in it. They're in a switch or something. Yeah, the, um, I think one of the issues we've ran into that is all that's on photo sales, so yeah. when it gets dark, the power comes yeah. on, and their outlets, outlets are actually hooked to that as well. Gotcha. So you know, All right, we'll figure they're, that they're, out. Yeah, that's we'll, a minor thing. We'll get it figured out for you, though. <laughs> um, so we've got that one going on. We're currently... We're having street light a uh, plan from all the way from basically the current project goes to Hungry Bear up 441 okay. to the intersection, right below the Justice Center, and it goes up to uh, basically the Casino Mart, okay. and then goes down Casino Trail. So we're doing a we're okay. actually that's currently in plan to do that, and we'll get that project going soon too. That's awesome. I think um, oh, probably some another important thing you probably need to mention is some of these groundbreaking dates that we've okay. got coming up. Mm -hmm. We've got, so the Cherokee Youth Center, it's going to be um, May the 31st at 3.30. Okay. Then we have uh, the Big Cove Gym. It's also going to be in May, it'll be May the 22nd at 2 p.m. Snowbird uh, Complex, it'll be May the 23rd at 2 p.m. Then the Needle Exchange is going to be in June. So it's June the 13th at 2 p.m. Wow, that's a lot of breaking ground on mm -hmm. some projects. It is. Four so big projects right there. Like I, like I was saying earlier, this is one of the things that having that five-year plan and just having a plan of how our projects roll out, this is one of the things that it really helps right. with. So It can give you that perspective you need to stay on task for these particular goals that we've established as a tribe. Correct. Right. Correct. Excellent. And, uh, and so I know we're, we're updating that process and, and we're in the works on some beta testing of some things uh, to are. make sure that we can more efficiently get projects out for the community and, and for our economy as well. Yes, sir. Um, and so that's exciting to be a part of that and to see that rolling out and being developed. Um, yeah. So you guys have your hands full. We do. We've got but, a lot of stuff going on. But congratulations, you know, by the way, because I don't know that enough uh, of that is, is ever really shared with you guys, mm -hmm. but you guys do a lot of work and there are a lot of good projects that you've put on the ground. Uh, especially community projects and so that's exciting to, to okay. see how you guys have that and you work that out and you have a structure but right. to let the public know like we're, we're busy day in and day out with all these little changes and all these pieces to make sure that we get these right for the communities yeah yeah they're um, we definitely uh, we stay hopping yeah. there's and always I know Chris didn't talk about the front the front end part of it but part of it is also the land portion so right. we have lands acquisition which I help facilitate that and We've, we've been purchasing properties, and we've definitely looked at a lot more than we've purchased, but there's like 150 properties wow. that, that are constantly on my list. So we're looking into those as well and doing site reviews on those. And so if folks have with land them. for sale, they can mm -hmm. approach you, right? They Kim? can. I have a, a simple form that you can fill out to... To Excellent. have your lamb taken a look at. And maybe that's something we could put on the website mm -hmm. as well. So if folks are out there and want to just print it off and then drop it off right. or, or email it to right. you or however, we'll do that as well. Well, good. Um, now you're working on the, uh, you came specifically to talk about the bike ride, is that right? Uh, we also have the Cherokee Blue Ridge Run and that this will be our third, re third year of that. And that's September the 6th through the 8th. Okay. And this year we're doing a little bit different uh, component that we're adding in where we're going to have a little bit of a motocross feel to it. So okay. you'll have some different type racing than we've had the last two years. We had flat track racing last year. We may have a little bit of that this year as well. So okay. look forward Thanks. to that event. It'll be a lot of fun. Well, good. Well, I'm excited for you guys. It sounds like we've got a, um, a lot of good projects underway and, and, and people are working together well, and, and that's good. Uh, good to see. So come on, please. Let's make this a regular thing, Chris and, and Kim, uh, that we can come on and update the public regularly about these, uh, maybe quarterly, about the uh, right. different projects yeah. and where we're at and how they're moving and uh, what we've learned. I think it's mm -hmm. important, you know, that the community know what we've learned about these things as well because some mm -hmm. of them are, some of them are perfect and some of them are not. That's mm -hmm. correct. And uh, and it's good to talk about those as well. Um, so anytime, just come on and let's chat about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Okay. Um, you know, one of the things you were just saying, talking about you know good projects and bad projects. One of the thing that one of the things that our team does is once a project is uh, finished, we do something called lessons learned, and we okay. go back through and say, 
you know, just so we can make improvements on our next project. Right. Mm -hmm. Talk about the bad with the good. Make sure so. the power's on in the, on the pole for Chris <laughs> and plug his APs into them and get them working. No, yes, thank sir. you guys so much for coming on no, today. Thanks and, for and having us. Yeah, and I look forward to seeing you again in just a few months. We'll update Absolutely. some more. Okay. okay. That'll be it for um, uh, today. If you're listening at home and would like to comment on the show or ask questions regarding what we've discussed today, please comment on our EBCI Cherokee Now Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Cherokee Now. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. Hey!